Unity, one of the most popular game engines on the planet, might be going up in smoke thanks to a legendarily bad managerial decision. Last week, the announcement of an aggressive fee system for game installs set the development world on fire, and almost a week later, the higher-ups decided to apologize and are allegedly looking at changing their policy but the extreme damage to their reputation may be permanent. This event has highlighted the incredible power and danger large studios have over the indie game development world, and it could be a landmark event from which we see more games adopting free open source engines. All right, for some context, Unity Technologies is a huge company that boasts over 5,000 thousand employees and has been a game engine platform since the early 2000s. Currently, it's one of the most popular game engines being used for titles like Pokemon Go, Escape from Tarkov, City Skylines, Rust, Hearthstone, Cuphead, and countless other titles. Heck, I even used it to make some mobile games back in like 2010. It's everywhere and it's built its industry dominance by offering a very inexpensive way to get a robust game engine, regardless of whether or not you're a solo dev or a large studio. However, as we watch that corporate shareholder narrative run its course, ultimately major companies end up with a singular goal of improving the share value, often with a desensitization to the actual employees, the products they make, and the consumers. And thus, on September 12th, Unity announced that they're going to be rolling out an incredibly aggressive monetization fee that shows a complete lack of foresight for who it might affect and how people would respond to it. This new pricing structure for Unity would add an install fee for games. Once developers pass a certain threshold of installs or revenue generated, each install can then cost up to 15 cents. And while that might seem like literal pennies, devs were quick to point out the crazy flaws with such a system. For example, there's tons of devs that make free games, or many games that just use microtransactions to generate revenue instead of having an actual sale price. So millions of free game installs could end up costing the devs thousands without any sort of guaranteed return. In fact, free-to-play games get way more installs than paid titles, so inherently this system punishes that type of game model. Lots of free mobile games use Unity, and those can get hundreds of millions of downloads with only a small percentage of those customers actually paying into the microtransaction system. Another point that's been repeatedly brought up is that since consumers would understand this new payment system, they could troll developers by organizing mass install uninstalls to cost devs tons of money. And the devs would be reliant on Unity to hopefully figure out a way to track this accurately and not charge for extra installs. Especially with a free-to-play title, any big name on social media could just say, download this game and don't play it, so it costs the devs thousands of dollars. So the new payment system is poorly conceived to say the least, but beyond that, Unity is just tacking on nickel and dime fees to an already confusing pay structure that can and will affect titles that are already out. Many devs who have had their games on stores for years would actually have to consider going back into those titles, updating or changing them in a way so that they aren't billed thousands of dollars, or even removing them entirely if they just don't have a pay structure set up for this crazy retroactive model. And that's one of the craziest things about this update is that while it doesn't charge retroactively for installs, it would begin to apply for Unity games that are already out or are currently in development and didn't factor this new pay structure into their business model. Which calls into questions the actual legality of charging people fees that weren't part of the deal when they essentially signed up to use Unity. These devs can't just back out from a project that they're already years into, they pretty much have to go ahead with it and just eat the cost of whatever Unity wants to charge them. And really the bigger point that I'm building up to is that when a giant company like Unity makes software that is used by millions of people around the world and then decides to up and change the pricing model that will have deep and drastic ramifications, it shows just how vulnerable the independent developers actually are to the big companies whose software that they opt to use. And while you could just employ the free market rule and say go use a competitor's engine instead, well that doesn't really help people who are already years invested into developing a game on Unity or have 10 years worth of experience with the engine itself and market themselves as Unity developers. Plus, it points out the vulnerabilities of using even a competitor's engine, like, say, Unreal. If Unity and Epic teamed up together and decided that they were both going to start charging install fees, devs wouldn't really have much choice in the matter other than using a 
completely different engine from the two most popular engines right now. Now, realistically, I don't think Unreal would do something like this. And I also think a lot of this cold business strategy comes from John Ricciatello, Unity's current CEO and EA's ex-CEO. This guy has been in the news quite a bit and rarely for the right reasons. In an interview last year, he called devs who didn't overly monetize their games the biggest effing idiots. Plus, Ricciatello and many other Unity executives also sold thousands of their company shares leading up to this announcement, which calls into question many things as like, did they know that this was going to tank the shares? Is this a ploy to buy back in at a lower price? It all seems pretty dirty. Even the employees are harshly against the direction of the company. Jono Forbes, an ex-employee of Unity, wrote this on Twitter. As a Unity employee until this morning, I assure you we fought like hell against this, brought up all the points everyone has, were told answers were coming, and then the announcement went out without warning. Those of us who care are out. More resignations coming end of week. Now, over the weekend, Unity sent out this tweet. We have heard you. We apologize for the confusion and angst the runtime fee policy we announced on Tuesday caused. We are listening, talking to our team members, community, customers, and partners, and we'll be making changes to the policy. We will share an update in a couple of days. Thank you for your honest and critical feedback. And this is a fairly vague and too little too late statement from the company. Anything outside of an immediate reversal is, in my opinion, disastrous, and frankly, it might already be too late in that regard. Dennis Detwiller, a 15-year game industry veteran, tweeted out, It doesn't much matter. If you're a game dev, you'd be insane to risk years of your life on Unity after the bad faith disconnect of your patently ridiculous announcement. It's only a matter of time before you randomly top the idiocy of your previous announcement. Now, I also reached out to a developer friend of mine who has already produced a successful Unity game and is now working on a second title with Unity. And when asked about the situation, he said this, For us, it doesn't have too much effect. We'll have to pay them some, but a fair amount. It's more of a trust issue, changing payment rules and retroactively applying those changes to games that have already come out is pretty wild. So now we're kind of looking at them suspiciously. And all of these statements that I've heard pretty much echo the entire industry sentiment right now. If you're thinking about starting a new game project, Unity probably just dropped off the list of engines that you would consider using. Have Having a company that's willing to make crazy retroactive changes like that makes them a huge risk. Unreal, of course, has a better track record, but they also have nothing preventing them from making a similar announcement. Again, I don't think their current leadership would do such a thing, but who knows? They get a new executive, new leadership that wants to make some crazy changes, and all of a sudden, Unreal could turn into the same situation. Many devs are starting to point out the totally free and open source engines like Godot, or Godot, not sure how you pronounce that one, which would be an option for devs scared about these big companies taking control of their games after the fact. This whole situation is pretty crazy and at the very least should signal the much needed change in leadership at Unity. So many investors just look at share prices and metrics to judge the quality of leadership, but this level of ignorance shows some serious flaws. I think the following weeks will be interesting to see if there's any sort of managerial shifts or major exodus from the Unity engine. This is an overall loss for the game industry as Unity Unity is an incredibly powerful and one of the easier to learn engines. If less devs are willing to use this platform or backtrack on their development to switch to another engine, it means potentially less great titles or slowdowns in development. What do you guys think? Could this lead to a major rise in open source game engine tech? Some industries thrive on open source software, but game engines are quite complicated. So being able to offer comparable features to Unity or Unreal in a free package seems pretty unlikely but who knows? Next up, check out this video showing how Star Citizen's new engine deck is gonna breathe some real life into the game. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.